Hey, what's up everybody? Shady Ginger here with another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. Today we have an Ubers match against Champion Marks, and this was really long, so it's at times four speed. And I start off with my uh, Scizor, he starts off with his Dialga. I U-turn, because, you know what? This is my first time playing Ubers. I have no freaking clue what I'm doing. I have no clue what's going to work against any of these guys. I really don't know. So uh, I bring out Kyogre to start the rain, and he sets up Stealth Rocks, which is, I'm like, okay, that's interesting. So I Ice Beam and it does crap, even though I thought it would do way more than that. But I'm stuck in Ice Beam because I'm Choice Scarfed, so I'm going to have to switch and he paralyzes me, which is totally suckage for the rest of the whole match. So I send in my uh, Lugia, Julie Chen, and Julie Chen takes... I, I didn't realize how bulky that Lugias were, because this thing takes a hit. Julie Chen can take a hit to the face and still walk out alive, so there you go. Julie Chen's a beast. Um, he's gonna withdraw while I whirlwind. He sends in gear. Oh, no, I reflect. Sorry. Um, I reflect. Get up some reflectage screenage. So he's will o' wisps and that misses. So I'm gonna whirlwind him out. Whirlwind him out to his Arceus. And I'm just like, oh Arceus. Oh. So I'm gonna roost, which I should have should have whirlwinded because I should have known. You know, if I had not known about Uber's battling, I would have known that Arceus is set up whatever. I thought he would just attack me. But I whirlwind him out. Um, I'm still taking hits like a beast. Uh, and I'm going to try an ice beam, whatever coming in, because I'm, I'm expecting the switch to Garantina again, because that's what we did last time. And it does nothing! And I'm just like, what the heck? Come on! Can't I get a break? But no. No, I didn't think so. No breaks for this hombre. So I'm going to send in Scizor, which is stupid. So now my Sizer's Will-O-Wisp, except he has a freaking Lumberry. So I should've just switched out, knowing another Will-O-Wisp is coming. But... Pfft, no, I go for the super effective pursuit. You know, he's gonna switch right now, he's just gonna Will-O-Wisp me again. Whatever. Yeah, I pursue, it does nothing. I'm just wondering if he's gonna switch out, but he rests, and I'm just like, well, this is gonna get me nowhere. My Sizer's just gonna die to the face. So I'm gonna have to switch out to my uh, Mewtwo, named Zyrtec. And you'll see why his name is Zyrtec in a little second. So he's going to rest. I'm going to call mine myself up. Because, you know, that's what Mewtwo does. He call mines and he's like, hell, I'm a call minder. Biatch. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so I'm taking some damage. I Ice Beam. And I'm just like, wow, that does so much. Mewtwo's a beast. And then he will o me, which is stupid because I'm going to take burn damage along with life orb damage. So, pluh, whatever. I call mine up. He rests again. And I go for the ice beam. And critical hit, not sure if it mattered. I don't know. I did a lot the first time. I'm not really sure how much adds on with the each call mine or whatever. It's only plus one special attack. Anyways, he brings out his size orb, which is going to bullet punch me and kill me, which is stupid. But I got one of his walls down. Oh, dang it, I forgot to say my line. I was going to say, when Zyrtec... I named him Zyrtec because when he's supposed to hit someone... With the move, supposed to, I'm supposed to go, oh, that'll clear your sinuses, you know, Zyrtec, clear your sinuses, whatever. Um, so I bring in this my Kyogre, and I thunder, and which is cool, because he brings in his Kyogre, I don't know what he was expecting. Uh, I don't know, maybe he was expecting me to do something else, that like an Ice Beam or something. So he Ice Beams, it does nothing, and I thunder and kill him. So I'm going to thunder his Dialga. He Dragon's Pulse, that does not hardly anything. But I thunder and get Parahax, which is like, yes, now I'm going first, you SOB. So I thunder. Again. Well, I don't I don't know what to do, because I know he's just going to kill me. Oh, no, wait, I don't. Oh, yeah, we both both get the Parahax. I forgot about that, which is totally funny. And I'm going to switch out this time, thinking I can save him for later as, like, Death Fodder or something. So I'm, And I know that he cannot touch me. He cannot touch my, my Lugia, my Julie Chen. Nothing can touch Julie Chen. So he goes out, and I rest up. Bada bing, bada boom. That's awesome. Um, what I do? Oh, I set up another reflect, and he bug bites me, which doesn't do a lot thanks to reflect or whatever, and the fact that Lugia is a beast. So I'm gonna roost up while he's gonna switch out, cause he can't touch me. So he goes to his Lugia, and it's like, cool Lugia. And so now we've got two Lugias on the field. One of them is Julie Chen, so obviously mine's gonna win because mine's is named Julie Chen. So I'm gonna whirlwind, go that, make that Lugia go away. And out comes Dialga, and I'm just like, haha, I keep bringing out your Dialga, you suck. Your Dialga can't touch me. 
Um, critical hit didn't really matter. I didn't really do that much to him anyways, and he paralyzes me, so we're both paralyzed. But I'm faster anyways, because I know I'm faster, which is cool, because I'm faster. Just take my word for it, I'm faster. I switch out, go to Garchomp, and that's because Thunderbolt is not going to affect me. Oh yeah, uh, you can't see Garchomp's name is Louisville, because he's my slugger. That's right. Right now I'm grabbing my Louisville slugger too, my baseball bat, given to me at a baseball game by a baseball player. It's kind of broken. Anyways, I Dragon Claw, critical hit, take him down. Don't know if the crit mattered. Whatever, I'm just just getting the Lux. I got Lux. So he brings out that dude, and I can't touch him, really. So I'm going to have to switch, uh, and I decide to go into Skippy, my Dialga. Go... Okay, I switch out to Skippy, and he's going to bullet punch me, which is going to do nothing, uh, which is awesome. So I'm thinking I'm just going to go with the Thunder, because, you know, I've still got the rain up and everything, which is awesome. He brings out his Lugia, and I'm just like, yeah, epic prediction for the win. And he gets <laughs> and he gets the Parahax, which totally matters, because now I'm just going to Thunder and win against his Lugia, not win the battle with that move. I was like, yeah, that's totally epic. Parahax for the win. Um, yeah, Champion Marks, you said Parahax doesn't matter, didn't really matter. Come on. You totally wouldn't be able to rest off and everything if it wasn't for that. Anyways, I para I thunder I thunder him again and get the para hacks, which I can't believe I lived. But anyways, he kills me with the extreme scream. I mean, extreme speed. <laughs> extreme extreme scream is a ride at the Puyallup Fair. None of you know what that is, so that doesn't matter. Um, but I'm gonna bring in my size work because I don't really know what to do. So I'm gonna roost, expecting something. And I do sword dance. I'm just like, come on. I should see this by now. I should see all this shit coming. So I'm just going to U-turn, and it does nothing. Why? Because I'm burnt. Which is stupid. So that's how they screwed me for the whole match. I send in Lugia, who had Julie Chen is not affected by earthquakes, FYI. Just so you know, Julie Chen, not affected by earthquakes. Which is why she can live in California, I guess, because earthquakes don't affect her. Either way, I send in my, my you-know-whos. Wait, who did I send in? Oh yeah, Julie Chen. And he sends in his dude, and he bullet punches me, which kills me. And I was like, dude, what? Come on. You've been taking hits like no one's business, and then you just go down to a bullet punch. So I'm going to send in my uh, my uh, Louisville Slugger, and I'm going to EQ. Because for some reason I thought that was super effective. I guess ground isn't super effective against bug. Whatever, it doesn't kill him. It's lame. Probably I would have won if, it had, if I had gone for like a Draco Meteor or Dragon Claw or something. I don't know, but whatever. So I send I do that. Uh, and I send in my Sizor to bullet punch, but he's going to switch out. Um, and bullet punch does nothing. So I don't know what to do. Whatever. I should just keep bullet punching, trying to get as much damage as possible. But I'm going to roost up. And he's going to sword his dance. Again, for a third time. And I'm going to go get some burn damage on me. And I'm going to bullet punch, but yeah, I get the bullet punch off, which hurts him a little bit more. He EQs and I go down. Which sucks. I hate Arceus. Freaking 120 in all stats. That's just total bullshit. But whatever. Excuse my friend. He extreme speeds for the win. Whatever. Good 2-0 victory for him. It was a fun battle. Um, thanks, Champion Marks. I've never done Ubers. But I thought I was going to have a win for a second. You know, just randomly. And there was lots of pair hacks that were slowing our guys. And despite what you think, I think the pair hacks actually mattered. I guess for me, I would have totally lost. But anyways, comment, rate, subscribe, everyone. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Shaggy Ginger. Comment, rate, subscribe. Yeah, whatever. Bye.